Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios as always, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this warp speed effect using HitFilm Pro. Okay, so to create a warp speed animation, um, first thing we're going to need to do is create a composite shot. We're going to actually name this light speed. Okay. And the effects that I'm using in um, this tutorial are going to be only found in the pro version of HitFilm. So, and the reason for that is because we, the one of the effects is under a particle simulator and the par particle simulator is only found in HitFilm Pro. Um, so now that we've got our composite shot created, we're going to go ahead and type in rain. I'm going to go ahead and drag the rain down in our timeline. And if you click play, you can see that it's it's just an animation of rain. So what we want to do to make this look like the rain is heading towards the camera or coming at us, or if you went outside while it was raining and lay down on the ground and look straight up, you would get the relatively same effect. So let's go ahead and go into the controls panel, move down the transform tab. We're going to change its orientation to 90 degrees. What that's going to do is it's going to give us a um, different perspective of this rain coming towards the camera. Um, as you can see, though, as this animation plays, you see the center of the viewer is not the center of where the rain is coming from. So it doesn't look quite right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go under the rain tab. And down here at the direction, we want to put that to zero. I'm going to go ahead and click play. And now it has changed that angle of... Um, Basically, the center of our viewer is now where those rain droplets are coming from. So what we want to do is make this rain. Um, you can actually, under the rain tab, you can change the color, the amount. We're actually going to change the color to something that resembles a little bit more um, stars. We're actually going to make these bright white. So now that we've got the orientation and the angle correct, if we hit play on this, you can see that there is still a little bit of um, movement within each um, rain droplet. We don't want that. We want all of those to stay the same. So we're actually going to go over here to spread, and we're going to change that to zero. What that's going to do, though, is it's going to give us this kind of this dark, these dark patches on either side. And so what we want to do is we actually want to duplicate this and we want to go into our controls on the very top one, go into transform, and we actually want to change the um, orientation on the top layer. And we're going to set that to 90 on that axis there. And we're going to go ahead and click play on that. And that gives us a much better, much more spread out um, star travel effect or light speed effect using HitFilm Pro. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Gorhamian here with Misfit Studios, as always. And of course, if you guys like what I'm doing here at the Misfit Studios channel with HitFilm Pro and HitFilm Express and some of our other tutorials that we've got up here on the channel, leave a comment down below, and we will see you guys next time.